Hey, I'm Braden O'Gwen, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Chauncey. He asks, what is reactive programming? Thanks, Chauncey. That's an excellent question. Seems you hear the buzzword reactive all over the place right now. JavaScript frameworks, both front-end and back-end, are exploding with interest in reactive. But beyond, I heard React is good, a lot of people are hard-pressed to define reactive programming. To put it briefly, reactive programming is learning to program completely around asynchronous data streams. This can be a wacky shift for a lot of programmers, since reactive programming has no concept of mutable state. While imperative programming focuses on the order in which your computer does things, reactive programs only care about the order in which things need to happen. Imperative programs focus on the call stack, whereas reactive ones react to events. You could also say that they are written ignorant of the time and context in which they are run. If you're a front-end engineer, you probably already write a little bit of reactive code without even realizing it. DOM events like key press wait for a stream of user input data and then respond accordingly. Now imagine you had to write a program that waited for a user to begin typing in a box, and when they finish typing, format their text and return it. it. Sounds pretty complex. In reactive programming, this is a few lines of code. We generate an observable stream out of the user input, we add a subscriber to this stream, we buffer on a time threshold so we know when the user finishes typing, and then we change and return the text. When we write reactively, our code is more abstract and concise. For highly interactive apps like modern single-page applications, we don't have to worry so much about state and instead can code a consistent and repeatable system. When your app needs to be quick to react to asynchronous behavior, reactive programming is the way to go. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.